God. It's time to release your inner nerd with your nerdy best friend. AskBethZ.com Your nerdy best friend here, Beth Z, with a deep dive on the Mailbox app. The one that you have to be in a queue for. The one that la that was just bought out by Dropbox, the one that was so popular and received such buzz. I want to show you what it can do and what it can't do and maybe why you would use it. Now the main feature that I love about it is a swiping. So I'm going to use my thumb to swipe across the screen and you can swipe to the right and to the left. If you swipe to the left, the first thing that comes up is the yellow area and that is the option to send it to yourself later today or what have you. If you swipe it all the way to the right, you can put it in folders. The default ones are to buy, to read, to watch. Now I put in time block so that rather than doing later, which will come back to me in the email, I put it in a folder called time block so that I can work in it later. If you swipe to the right, the first thing that appears, the green, is archive. Now, frankly, I don't like the archive button. I don't know where it goes or what you do. It just is kind of in limbo and it's another group of emails that maybe I don't want to see. So I don't really use that very much. I swipe all the way, if I need to, to the right and do the delete button. Now, if I accidentally delete button, you have to shake the heck out of it, but when you shake it, a, a dialog box comes up. I'm shaking away and it does take a lot of work and you can undo the last action really easily so except you have to shake a lot so I'm gonna click over here and you'll see my mailbox now I am out of control with my email I know that that's why I'm looking so desperately for a solution and I'm not sure this is it but if you look you've got your things that are in later your time block the things that are in archive curiously for me when you send an email it'll show up in archive which is kinda of strange uh, that's something that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. When you go into Gmail, now these are only accessible from Gmail, but luckily with Gmail you can actually import your any of your emails, your POP3 emails or your, S, uh, your other emails into Google Chrome, uh, I'm sorry, Gmail, and keep them all together. So here we are, these are my emails I actually have a couple of plugins that allow me to separate them out. So this is one account, this is two accounts, and this is everything. And I could put in even more accounts. But over here in the area that is the folder, you're going to be able to find all those folders that you created. So everything I put into time block that I need to get to when I have some time, it's going to be in there. In addition, go down here again all of the things that I put in later are going to be available in later so you've got those things on there now one of the things I don't like about it is that it's very easy I'm gonna go back to the um, my iPhone here it's very easy to accidentally delete accidentally archive accidentally put things in the wrong place because the swiping is a little goofy in my opinion plus your folders that are in Gmail do not appear automatically in Mailbox. So it will go one way to synchronize, but it won't synchronize back so that all those folders you've created if you're using Gmail, it won't put things together and it doesn't tag things the same way. So this is kind of a deep dive. I think it's a good solution for your email, especially if you're already kind of under control. I'm so far out of control that I need some bigger solutions, but I'm working on it right now and trying to get a hold of it. This is your nerdy best friend, overwhelmed with email, but more or less happy with the free mailbox app. See you soon!